ECDL Advanced Excel Lesson 8 Transposing Data It is sometimes necessary to change the way data is stored in a worksheet. Data stored in rows may be needed in columns and vice versa. This process is called transposing data. I've opened here the workbook Transpose. The results are needed in a row. So select the range B3 to C17. Then select to copy the range. Move to A20 and click the Paste drop down and select Paste Special. Paste drop down, Paste Special and check the transpose box, that's the one over here. Click OK and then I'm going to click away but you can either click away or press escape to exit the copy command. The data is now shown in rows. Notice that the formats, for example the borders, have also been copied. This could have been avoided by selecting to paste just values in the Paste Special dialog box. Now what we wish to do is to transpose the range B3 to C17, this time to A23, but now with values only. So to do that, back on to Paste Special, transpose, but this time values only, and then OK. And as can be seen now, the formats, for example, the borders, have not been copied with. OK, let's close this workbook and then open the workbook budget. The first thing we want to do is to transpose the range A1 to N14. That's all of that section and we want to transpose it to cell 18. So first of all copy, then we're going to go for A18 to anchor the copy, then paste special, so paste, paste special, we're going to transpose and then press OK. As you can clearly see the borders are not appropriate. So let's undo the paste and this time transpose the range again but with all except borders selected. So paste, paste special, all except borders and also select transpose then press OK. We have the new range highlighted so what we can now do is to add new borders as appropriate. Perhaps like this. If we just check the formulas are still present, so let's have a quick look across. We've got the formula in turnover over here. We've got the formula in wages. We've got the formula in spending. Actually, let's make that a bit wider. We have the formula for tax and we have the formula for net profit. And then along the bottom for the totals, we've got the formula for adding this column, formula for adding this one, and also as we can see for all the others too. Okay, the final thing we want to do here is to print a landscape copy of the worksheet on one page. So let's select just this transposed version. File, print, print selection, landscape, and for the purposes of what we're doing, 
I'm going to print it to the XPS printer. I have the Microsoft XPS document writer here. So let's print this to this virtual printer. This is my preview. And if I press print, it will then ask me what file name I want to apply to this piece of work. OK, that's all we're doing for this lesson. If you could close the workbook, no need to save it. And I look forward to seeing you next time when we're going to be discussing copying and moving sheets. OK, I look forward to seeing you then.